Hello and welcome back to Let's Go Sailing. In the last episode we did a lot of sanding, fairing and painting. So go check that out if you haven't already and don't forget to subscribe. Now in this episode I'll be installing all of the electrical goodies that I've got. For Merakai I'm planning quite a simple system um, but I do like my gadgets so I went all out with some B&G gear. I ended up getting a Vulcan with a wind sensor, a sonar and avionics installed. I also picked up a Bluetooth amplifier for the four waterproof speakers that I got from Merakai and these will be fitted inside and outside. On my last boat Masumi I used these speakers and I know they're really good quality I just need to hook them up with a good amplifier so I tested it and this amplifier is cracking for the price. I also picked up some switch panels that are fused. I also got a main battery switch that can switch between the first battery and second battery or have both of them on and you can see the terminals on the back so I can hook them up with some big lugs. I also checked out my chart for wiring. Buying new wires can get really expensive and I had an old car loom knocking around so I decided to recycle that. Now I recommend this for anyone doing electrics on a boat is to get it on a bench and test everything and how you're going to wire it because it's much easier on a bench than stuck in a tiny little boat. Testing on the bench also means that you can order all the parts that you previously forgot. I probably spent one entire night in the shed playing with all these electrical goodies and B&G kit was definitely the best. Now America I had to set up an EMA 2000 network as I want to run all the gadgets so I'm going to have a wind sensor, sonar and then a power needs to be run to the network and then you just plug that straight into the chart plotter and it should recognise that you have everything. Now the only difference is with the wind sensor that I got, it's wired and it runs on the old NEMA but BNG supplied uh, a NEMA 2000 converter adapter thing that you just plug straight in. You just have to plug it in at the end of the network so that you can actually read it because if you plug it in like you normally would with a sonar to one of the drop drop offs from the actual network, it wouldn't read and it wouldn't read any of the sensor stuff so it has to go on the terminator. I couldn't resist having a quick play with the new chart plotter and there is no audio because I got way too excited. Now we started fitting the electrics to Merakai and Sam came round. Now if you don't know who Sam is, he helped me rebuild Masumi, my first boat. We made a cardboard template uh, and fitted the switch panels to them where we'd roughly want them and we also hooked up our battery monitor so we could see what was going on with that. So the plan was to keep it very simple and make a loom and I would run all of the components and get them hooked up to, for testing and then Sam would wire it all into the switches and get it all fused up. Also doing this cardboard template was a really good idea because we could list out where we wanted all our switches to be and what we were running. So we were running nav lights, chart plotter stuff, uh, all the speakers and Bluetooth and LED lights and everything so that was really handy. I also mounted up the batteries, one on each side they're 105 amp hours each, so plenty of power for Merakai, and we could get cracking with the rest of the electric, so we could actually test things. In this next clip, viewer discretion is advised as me and Sam got very excited and started making funny noises. Ooh, yeah. What? I'll do one. <laughs> okay, this is enough for a piece of cardboard, isn't it? Is it on? Oh, it is. <laughs> now I did warn you so no complaining down in the comments below. I got started making the new switchboard out of marine ply that we've been using 
and lining up what I was going to do. I was planning on having it hinged down so that you'd be able to work properly and have access to all the switches without having it open upwards or to the side because that's really difficult. Now when making this fold down door, um, to get the cut right, because I wanted to keep the door because it would be exactly the right shape and the thickness of a, of a jigsaw blade is perfect like reveal that you want. So getting the same diameter drill bit and drilling the holes down onto my cut line I could then start with the jigsaw and actually cut that out perfectly to what I need it to be and then I could just add the hinges and cut the holes the same way for the switchboard although the switchboard the wood behind that would be removed so I could just cut that right out and then all it was needed was paint and attaching the hinges and you could see how well it came out all that was left to do was to install this into Merakai and I did this after all the paintwork that I did in the last episode as I don't want to paint all of the nice wires that we just laid out because that would look horrid. So did all that, installed it all and got it working. Now the wiring loom that me and Sam had made previously, plugged straight in, no real difficulty there. Uh, really easy to do because exactly the same position so all the wire lengths were correct. Also got this um, bar to hook up all the grounds to which is another good buy, keeps you nice and organised. I also fitted the gas struts to the door, uh, that opens up really well and gives me access to all the wiring inside the boat and the master switch for the batteries and the amplifier so I can control the master volume and all that. Also I did a quick test of the speaker system and because we're having it switching inside and outside so we don't annoy people at anchorages and this is the same as we did on Masumi my old boat so it's a really good system and really worth it. I then got around to fit them inside and outside and really clean, simple and points in the right directions. Also important to test it out with LED lights as you can get some interference from it. So I'm assuming this occurred but managed to solve it on this boat. I also got around to drilling the hole for the sonar and I was quite pleased to see how thick the actual hole was and being an old boat they are built very thick and very strong so I'm pleased with that. Now I cracked out the label maker so I could write down all of the electrical systems and have it labelled clearly, otherwise we forget when we closed it all up, so that's really handy to do. I also ended up fitting a chain to the actual door that drops down as I could adjust the length and have it drop down perfectly and it's really strong and sturdy and I think it looks pretty cool. Now I will be covering some more electrics further down the line and getting into some more detail but that's it for this episode and in the next episode I'm going to get cracking on some bottom paint. Bottom. <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or ideas leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Also don't forget to subscribe. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.